Welcome, my dear students, to week nine. In this week, we will talk. We will continue talking in chapter four for cycles of matters, for each an, uh, important uh, molecules or elements that's found in our uh, body as a macromolecules uh, con component, whether it was carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, or other uh, elements. Now we will talk in regards to the quantity or the percentage of the present of for these molecules in our body. In this chapter. We will talk and explain about how matters flow between tropic, uh, tropic levels and among the ecosystem, how it's found in ecosystem. We will be exactly talking about water cycles and then the importance of some molecules in the as a nutrient in their nutrient cycles. Well, as I said about carbon, oxygen, uh, nitrogen, and explain how these nutrient availability affects the uh, productivity for each molecules. Recycling in uh, nature, when we talk about recycling, recycling, it goes from the idea of the production and um, consuming process. It's in between our a cycle, so it's continuous a process, meaning there is no uh, running of this matters. The way it's getting in is the way it gets out, and in, in um, as a, really a, a product or in the product, the energy will be produced. As you can see here, there is so many physical chemicals process that can produce energy, other that can be produced from animals or plant cells, and other geological processes that we will talk about also. Of course, after that, there is the human impact in our geological uh, system, uh, ecological system, and how the human affected activity affected the, new, uh, the process in, in exact. Global process and the global systems, how do they cause and affect into the global system? The causes that can affect whether it was the element cycles, it is, as we said before, it's regards to the, if it's talking about the air, which is called atmosphere, or the land itself, elements found in land as a biosphere, elemental cycles, which is the geospheres, what's it exactly inside it, and uh, hydrosphere, which is the water. There is causes that can be affected by human and uh, non-human causes for effective, that can cause a global process or global system changes. As you can see here, these are the four cycles. Now, we will be exactly talking in depth about the water cycle. We will talk about the biological and the phys uh, physical, chem uh, physical slash chemical changes that occur that causes the changing in the uh, process of the water cycling, starting with the atmosphere, the presence of water uh, as an H2O gases. Now, in this cycle also we'll be exactly talking about the shapes or the state of the water molecules whether it's gas solid or um, water or which is liquid and how it's affected by the water cycle uh, being that the, in, during this water cycle the three steps or the three stages st stages of water will be occurring during that precipitation runoff evaporation and groundwater, the four of them, transpiration. Then we will talk in depth about the nutrient cycles. We will go through the carbon cycle, also biological, ge geological, physical, or chemical, and the human impact also. Then to the nitrogen cycle. Now, why we care about nitrogen cycle? As we talked about before, macromolecules, the main macromolecule, which is protein or nucleic acid, uh, they contain the presence of uh, nitrogen, which we care about in the presence of or the, uh, the content of the D, uh, DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid. The presence of the nitrogen bases are important, so that's why we will go through the nitrogen cycle. Also, with respect to the biological, human impact, physical, and chemical. Also, phosphorus cycles as it has is its component inside the, our body. So, also, we'll go through them. With the small amount or the, the smallest percentage of other molecules like uh, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, sulfur, iron, and uh, in, in, in respects to the nitrogen.